What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel where you don't know we don't do and think like the average person out there. So in this video today guys, we're going to be talking about something that you all should be doing, especially if you plan to become a parent or you are already a parent. Get a pen, get a piece of paper and start taking some notes. If you take a good look at society today, most parents want to provide the best for their kids, right? Nothing is wrong with that. But when you think about the best that they're talking about, it all boils down to providing some party, providing some nice shoes, providing some nice clothes. Again, nothing is wrong with that enough. You know? But guess what they are not doing? They are leaving out something very important. There is no form of investment. There is no form of inheritance really being set up, right? But guess what? Most people are really caught up living their lives through their kids and not necessarily doing what is best for the child. Again, I'm not saying don't do these things, but what I'm going to share with you is something that you can do along with those nice things that you are doing. You need to start investing for your kids, right? Now, while you're out there living your modest life, right? Guess what you can do in the meantime while you plan to have kids? Invest for them. So nothing is stopping you from living your modest life enough, but ensure that you start building the foundation from early. The financial foundation that you didn't have. The financial foundation that is the reason why a lot of people are struggling today. Because of the lack of foundation. It's not because of the lack of parties. It's not because of the lack of toys. And it's not because of the lack of nice shoes and clothes, right? It's because of the lack of a financial foundation. And people are not waking up. They are making the same mistake. And guess what will happen? The cycle of broke life and poverty will continue. So when are you going to make the change? huh? When are you going to make the change as grown-ups? Is it that you plan to continue the cycle where when your kids grow up and they are in their 20s and 30s and trying to figure out life for themselves, they now have you as a financial burden? Now stop and think about it for a minute. How does it feel if you are an individual now having to take care of parents, grandparents and other relatives. How does that feel? And why are you in a position where you are doing that now? What caused that to happen? Was it because of the lack of toys, the nice shoes and clothes? People, you guys need to wake up and do better. I'm not saying not to treat them good or anything like that, you know, but what I'm saying to you is that every dollar you spend on a toy, every dollar you spend on a piece of clothes, right? Every dollar you spend on a expensive or overpriced shoes, because they are kids, they are, it's going to be thrown in the garbage anyway. Invest the equivalent of that money. You don't have to try and pick stock and find out which stock is the best stock to invest your money in. You can simply go with a unit trust. You can go with ETF. You have access to the US market. Every day you depend on Amazon or shop. You have access to the New York Stock Exchange, the Nasdaq, all of those cool things. You can access it from your mobile phone. So the money they want to take a shop and she and do all of that. Just invest some for the future now. Make your kids life a little bit easier. Give them a foundation. Give them a start. When you look at the people who are really wealthy in society, they have assets being passed down from generation to generation to generation. The people that struggle, what do they have passing down? Expense, 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 right? And it continues. It's full time you cut out these things, guys. It's full time you cut it out. Enough information is there for you to make the change. But no, everybody just get up every day. Hey! scroll over social media waste time like and share the gimmicks them right now nah, make no change and then get up cause the politics cause the government and not the government fault it's your choices you have to make the change you have to start doing something different now after watching this video if you're a parent and you don't have any form of investment for a kid right are you plan to have kids and you don't have any form of investment Go to the nearest broker. There are many brokers out there. Sajiko Investment, JMB, NCB Capital Mice. Go speak with a licensed financial advisor and tell them that you want an equity unit trust to invest in. Why do I say equity unit trust? Not financial advice, but it's risky and it has the most potential for growth when you compare it to the horrors, right? Because at the end of the day, those toys, those things are going to end up in Riverton Dump. So it might as well you take some risk on growing that money properly, right? You all say better life, which I understand, cool. But guess what is happening and you're not realizing the child that you have today is already living a better life than you were. Let's say you live in an apartment today, you have running water, you have electricity, 
You have all those nice things to your comfort. When you were growing up, you're probably growing up in a piece of board house. You probably never really have nowhere to live. But now you live in a better environment. So that's automatically a better life. You don't need to go overboard. Now another thing that you need to start looking into is adverse possession. Right? Adverse possession. Try seek out some little piece of land here and there. Right? That nobody is looking after. Nobody owns it. Well, maybe it's a vulnerable, but they're probably dead and gone and nobody really cares about that property. Start taking care of that property. If you live on it for, say, 12 years, you may not have to build a house or anything. Just control it for the next 12 years. Pay your taxes, right? And then you can become the owner of that property. Now, guess what? When your kid's starting out, they want somewhere. You can have some land to give them. You can have some land to lease. Guys, you need to wake up and start thinking. The system is there for using it, you know, so you got to wake up and use it. Don't just let it sit there and say, boy, not now, go on. If you start reading, if you start paying attention to the right stuff, you'll get the information that you need to make the right decisions in your life. But if you sit down every day and watch primetime news and people are kill people, what that going to do for you more than you're just going to get upset and say, boy, I pay a crime. Not. Guys, wake up. I'm not going to say anything more. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.